When it comes to the 2023 NHL Draft, if you were just ranking prospects solely based off of talent and upside, Matvey Michkov is easily a top three player in the class. However, as we all know, Matvey Michkov would fall to seventh overall and was selected by the Philadelphia Flyers due to the Russian factor and the uncertainty surrounding the prospect, the fact that Matvey Michkov is signed in the KHL through 2025-26. This was definitely viewed as a high-risk, high-reward draft pick made by the Philadelphia Flyers. If it works out, then the Flyers have a franchise player on their hands. But there's no guarantee that the pick will work out as over the next three years, the Philadelphia Flyers have virtually no control over Matvey Michkov's development. The KHL regular season has been underway for about a week or so now and Matvey Michkov's start to the season is exactly what every single GM in the NHL was worried about heading into the 2023 NHL draft. Or I guess I should say every GM that had a a first round selection in the range of where Michkov may be available. SK St. Petersburg opened their regular season on September 2nd, and Matvey Michkov was a healthy scratch. They had another game on September 4th. Once again, Matvey Michkov, a healthy scratch. Michkov would finally make his season debut with St. Petersburg in their third game of the season on September 6th, but was only given a little over six minutes of total ice time. And then in St. Petersburg's fourth game of the regular season earlier today, Matvey Michkov, once again, was a healthy scratch. That is definitely a less than ideal start to the season for Matvey Michkov and his development. I know that SK St. Petersburg is one of the flagship teams of the KHL, and the KHL is a professional league. They're going out there and they're trying to put the best lineup together to win every single game. But you're telling me Matvey Michkov, somebody who had 20 points in 27 KHL games last season, isn't even good enough to crack the lineup on a consistent basis. I kind of find that hard to believe. Michkov is definitely in a pretty difficult spot right now as St. Petersburg could always send him down to the VHL. But if you ask me, Matvey Michkov is too good for that league. And if you're not familiar with the VHL, it's basically like what the AHL is to the NHL for the KHL. It's the KHL minor leagues. And again, while I do think Matvey Michkov is way too good for the VHL, the worst possible thing you can do for a prospect and their development is to have them not playing any games at all. And that's what's going on right now with Michkov. It's going to be really interesting to follow Michkov's season over there and really Michkov's next three seasons until his contract in the KHL is up. You have to think for Danny Bruyere and the Philadelphia Flyers organization, these three years cannot fly by quickly enough. I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts, especially if you're somebody who follows the KHL. I'm not sure how many of you are out there, but maybe there's a couple of you on the channel that watch the KHL on a regular basis. Let me know down below in the comments how you feel about this situation. And as always, if this is your first time coming across the channel and you want more NHL content just like this all year round, hit that subscribe button. If you're an NHL fan, this is definitely the place to be. 